A day in Macedonia. Macedonia has four national parks covering an area of 130,000 hectares. There are places in the tranquility of its forest for lovers of hunting and also for fishing in the small mountain lakes, streams and rivers. Only hunters and fishermen disturb the mountain harmony which creates a wonderful symphony of sounds, scents and colours. Every lover of nature, of the sun and water, and all dreamers are part of this land. God has given something to everyone. Many have sung of Macedonia's beauties, its heavenly rows and green highlands. About 1,200,000 people live in the urban areas of Macedonia. The country's capital, Skopje, has more than 600,000 inhabitants, and the symbol of the city is the stone bridge built in the early 6th century AD. Skopje is a synthesis of old, traditional buildings and modern achievements of architecture. Hotels, restaurants and cafes designed for all tastes and every pocket. A large number of guests frequent them, and many foreign visitors enjoy their services. Oriental and European flavors are intermingled there, as indeed are the exotic scents of the East and the refined fragrances of the West. The Kali, the old citadel, seems to be standing guard, observing the city's growth, and Skopje is gradually becoming an important part of modern European culture and habits. The city can be reached from every direction and you can travel from there to any destination. You can visit important places of cultural and historical interest, look into the city's old quarters and take part in numerous cultural events in its theatres, galleries and concert halls. Macedonia's hotels offer excellent opportunities for leisure and relaxation. There you can feel the freshness of lake waters or the warmth of the masseur's fingers. The largest part of the country's tourist facilities are to be found in Ochrid. Macedonia has thousands of cafes and numerous sports and recreation centers. It has also preserved its soul through a myriad of traditional dances and colorful folk costumes. Although very old, these have given this country the vigor of youth. Macedonia is a land of tales and legends. It is a pillar that unites the worldly and the heavenly dimensions. These legends were born in the villages and among the bazaars and markets of the old towns. These bazaars and markets have preserved their originality and attract the visitor with their picturesque alleys, gateways, windows and balconies. There are also quarters in several Macedonian towns where builders have cherished a preference for European traditions. Elements from different civilizations, cultures and ethnicities have been incorporated into the folklore of this people. For a moment you have the impression that you are a part of this multitude of colors and that you belong to all those civilizations and cultures at the same time. God has protected Macedonia and allowed it to remain a single whole and be the heart that gives a flavor to the entire Balkan Peninsula. Is this a dream? That is the question everyone who has seen the beauties of this country asks. 
don't just dream. Come to Macedonia. Open the treasure chest that holds its secrets and its mysteries.